hey, do you believe in luck? Do you believe that some people are more lucky than others or some people are more unlucky? Have you ever had a lucky streak or an unlucky streak? In this video, I'm gonna share with you three different ways of increasing your luck. These are methods that very few people are even aware of. Before I knew about these secrets, my life was a wreck. I was sick, I was broke, and I was very unhappy. And I asked myself, why is this happening to me? Why do I have such bad luck in my life? But then I learned something completely new. I learned different ways of actually attracting good things in my life to increase my luck. And through these mind hacks, I was able to turn my luck around and start to become more lucky. And ever since then, I was able to become more happy, healthier, and more successful. So pay close attention because what you're about to learn is a lesson from one of my courses that's valued at over $1,000. And I'm gonna give this to you absolutely free. That and more is coming up. Do six out of 12 people seem to be more lucky than other people? Yeah. All right, it's true, right? We all think, ah, that guy's just lucky. Or, you know, you got that deal that you don't know how he did it. You don't know how she did it, right? It's probably just lucky. So pay attention to what you're about to learn, and you can decide whether successful people are more lucky or not. So there's three ways to increase your luck. Heaven luck, energetic luck, and human luck. What are those things? Heaven luck is the heavens. What's in the heavens? Planets, stars, universe, cosmos. The time you're born determines your luck. Okay? Do we have control over that? No, we were born the day we were born, we can't really control it. Energetic luck is um, feng shui, or electromagnetic energy that happens in nature or happens in our body. So uh, we use qi coil, we use aura coils to actually emulate that in our environment or inside our bodies. Human luck also can be um, changed or altered using the qi coil, uh, aura coil, and I'm going to show you using mindsets, using formulas, and using processes. Okay, so there's three ways to increase the luck. So let me explain to you each one more in, more in detail. So what's heaven luck? Now, as I said, you don't have control over the planets and how they move, but being aware will help you make decisions better. Agree? Okay, so what's the science of astrology? It's that gravity has a significant effect on human behavior. Who knows this? So planets and stars emit subtle energy, and their movement and alignment causes per perpetuations uh, in our spinal fluid and actually influences our human behavior. Why are there the highest suicide rates when there's a full moon? There's a reason. It's because gravity affects emotions. So there's a lot of scientific research that actually uh, suggests that people that are born certain times of year are more prone to certain diseases. How come? Maybe because different parts of the electromagnetic field was active during that time of the year, which caused different things or different things to happen in the body when a baby is created. People think that this is something new, but it's not, because the first thing you go to, uh, first thing they do when you go to a traditional Chinese medicine doctor is they ask you what day you're born, and they'll tell you actually what your um, general physical makeup is like. They'll tell you, okay, well, you, you generally have a weak lung, or you generally have a strong heart, or you generally have a weaker bladder, things like that. They tell you, how do you know this? Well, I just don't go by the date you're born. Is really? And you're, like, people are like amazed. But it's actually, they've been doing it for thousands of years. Okay? So, so that's what happens. So, so that's um, astrology, that's like heaven luck. And you can't control it, but knowing it, uh, being aware will help you make better decisions. So the second one is energetic luck. It's the science of electromagnetic energy. We discussed this and we learned this in level one and two. So what it is, is you can learn to harness this energy within yourself because we all have qi energy inside us. And you can do that through qigong, which is a practice in uh, martial arts, which actually helps you to cultivate this energy, this qi inside you. Or you can use the qi coil. You can use devices like this that actually emulate and replicate the chi energy in your body using technology so that you don't have to actually work that hard. Another way that you can uh, increase your energetic luck is to harness it from nature because nature also has electromagnetic energy. Just like Earth has an electromagnetic field, all the planets, even living beings or trees or environment has electromagnetic energy. And then you can you learn to harness or learn to meditate in that energy or, once again, you can learn to emulate it with technology like our aura coil. So an aura coil is like a 
stronger, much more powerful version of the Qi coil, except that now you can connect it to a power source and be able to broadcast a frequency and electromagnetic energy to an entire space. It could be your home, it could be your office, it could be a, even a community of people. So that's energetic luck. That's how you can alter that. The third one is human luck, and it's the science of behavioral programming. And we discussed this in level four and also now in level five. You can actually program your emotions and your mental defaults. How do you do it? By changing your speech patterns, your mindsets, and your thought processes. Utilizing formulas and processes for success. Okay, so I'm going to show you the process to be able to change your behavioral programming. We discussed in level four that changing your speech, specific words will actually cause you to be stuck and specific words will actually empower you to be able to manifest more than, uh, than others. So being able to change your speech patterns actually changes your human luck because you're changing your behavior. Your speech converts to emotions, your emotions convert to behavior and behaviors convert to results. Hey, I've got a lot more awesome content for you, so make sure you click the videos here to watch the next videos that are very important for you to see. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe link here. And if you want to know what your Qi Energy score is, click the link in the description below to take the quiz.